going to start by unplugging this unit and taking it off. And this mount needs to come off. Next we have to figure out how to get this piece off because a lot of wires go through here and it's going to be a pain to thread it through so I'm just going to take that off. So this is the same square bits from part one. Okay, that makes things easier. There you can see steering wires and I believe the transducer cable goes up here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Okay, and find the transducer wire. I always forget which one it is. It's this bigger one. <laughs> yeah, it should be the bigger one. And we're gonna do like last time with the string, except this time we're gonna tape it on really good. I'm still gonna tie it. A knot in it. We got some electrical tape. I'm gonna really build it up around the end. That way, it won't get snagged on anything. Make it a, like a smooth transition. should work. So we're going to pull the transducer through with the string and then we'll tie the new transducer onto the string and pull it back up through this. It all goes well. <laughs> oh, I've almost got it. There it is. Holy smokes. Okay, so just a 5 16 bit, taking out all these uh, screws with the cable ties on them. There's that transducer off. Okay, and since I'm going to be moving the transducer to the other side, I got some uh, silicone here. Just going to fill in these holes. Okay, there's that. Wipe off the excess. There we go. That's the thing. Okay, so now we're going to mount the bracket onto the transducer. That's pretty straightforward. Okay.
Okay, so I've selected it a somewhat decent spot for it. Just gonna mark two holes here. There we go. And then we're gonna use a 532nd drill bit uh, taped off at 7 tenths of an inch per the instruction. There we go. Went a little deep there. <laughs> it's okay. Poked through just fine. So I'm going to pack those holes with silicone. Should be pretty good. And this goes good like that. And then this can run up. Okay, so basically same as before. We're gonna tape or tie tie and tape this cord onto here and then fish it through until we're able to pull it back up through the hole. Okay, now I just got to secure all the cable back down and the transducer mount is done. Okay guys, so the transducer is hanging out there, going up through here, under this, zip tied it to the rest of these cables, and then it comes down into its final resting position. Um, I don't really see a need to put more holes in the back of the boat to hold this down. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. If I do have issues with it, I'll come back and fix it. But for now, I think these cables here are going to hold it in place just fine. So next up, we're going to take the old power wire and run the new power wire down there. And it's going to go up under the dash and into the fuse box. It might be kind of hard to film, I'll try to figure it out. Okay, so I took the fuse box out. It just, there's four screws that hold this whole plate in. It just pops out, here's the fuse box. I routed my new power wire down 
Remember, we don't need the blue and brown wires right now. So I put ring ends on the red and black. Pull this yellow tab, pops right out. Um, our old power wire is this one here with the purple ends. So I'm gonna undo those screws. Maybe. <laughs> That one's red, so the red one's going to go on there. And then black goes right there. Okay, that wire is on, that wire is on. I am going to tape off these just because I don't want them touching anything down here. But yeah, that's it. Cover back on and reinstall the fuse panel. Okay, folks. That's what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, so I've got my transducer cable and my power cable zip tied down here so they can't fall through put this on and then we've got this ferrule thing so I'll go on as close to the transducer as you can get it sorry as close to the plug as you can get it there we go just like that and then what I've got here is this ram mount And I'm just going to screw it straight in. Some deck screws. No, that's probably not the best thing to be using. There we go. But that's what I have. I can't get bolts up underneath there without taking the whole console off, and I'm not doing that. Okay. It's the wrong drill bit. Okay, third time's a charm. That's not going anywhere. Okay, then we have our unit here. Let's get that clamped on. That's it. All plugged in, all set up. There we go, that's looking good. We got the one on the front, one back here. Um, I need to get a network cable. They didn't have one long enough in stock, but that'll go here. Probably run down through the rod locker here and come out the front and plug into the back of this unit, and then these two will be paired together. But yeah, that was really easy. A lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Another look at the transducer back there. It's going fine. Um, I did buy a transom saver, but I forgot to use it. And also, I think it was too big anyways. I should have got the smaller one, but not a big deal. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And hope you guys have a good day, have a good summer, catch some fish. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.